In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Locking AI Interview Assistant with the desktop version, which is completely hidden during the screen share. Let's get into it. So right now I'm inside Google Meet and if I'm sharing my entire screen, as you can see that the app is not showing anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's Google Meet, if it's Teams, any other meeting software, it will be so hidden. First, making sure you download the correct version for your computer, whether it's Windows or Mac. Here I'm using a Windows and after you download it, you will see this mini app. And when you click here, it will bring the main app on the top. This mini app has a few features that you need to be aware of, which is the transparency. You can adjust the transparency, making sure it's not blocking the views of your background apps. Lock it. And here you can start a session immediately uh, without any other input. But it's better to have the input for a more tailored response. Like for example, put inside your interview information, objectives, upload, the documents. Uh, if you already uploaded on the web version, you don't need to upload it again here. Everything is synced between the desktop and the web versions. Here you have the shortcuts and it will tell you all the shortcuts you need to help you to maximize your potentials during the interviews. So let's start the sessions right away. I like the web app. The desktop version, you don't need to capture the full screen. So you, you can see that it already started capturing the audios models from your computers and let's Give it a go. During your preparation for this interview, I guess you thought about what you do the best. What are your biggest strengths? As you can see, the answers are being generated in real time and based on your inputs. Also, you can do a quick shortcut, the full screen analysis and for the coding questions. Again, it will tell you what the problem is, what the solution is, and it will give you the code implementation test cases and as well as the time complexities. There is another features I want you guys to be aware of, which is the clicks through. So right now, if you see, I am moving this app, right? And I cannot click anything behind it, but I simply just need to press the control shift X and now everything on the back will be interactable. So the app will be non-interactable, but if you want to move the app, uh, you can also use the hotkeys to uh, move it left and right, up and down. There's a lot of features here for you to explore. So make sure you stay tuned for another video about uh, how to use all the small features inside the Locking AI Copilots. But for now, this is enough for the general purpose of the interviews. Guys, that's it. Stay tuned for more.